for all the stories you tried to miss. I'm Tanya Harris, and this is the TMI Minute. Star Wars The Last Jedi brought in more than $200 million in its first weekend of release. Upon hearing the news, the Republican Senate gave Luke Skywalker a tax break. I have a very bad feeling about this. It was reported that back in 2013, George Clooney gave 14 of his longtime friends $1 million each. No word on whether that was enough to make them forgive him for that awful Batman and Robin movie. On Wednesday, the Golden Globes snubbed Jake Gyllenhaal, who was expected to get a Best Actor nomination for his performance in the film Stronger. Luckily, later that day, Donald Trump nominated Jake for the D.C. Circuit Court. Uh, I believe no. Trump aide and frequent co-star Omarosa Manigault Newman was either fired or resigned from her position at the White House last week, bringing renewed scrutiny to the Trump administration for their lack of diversity. Shh. If you listen closely, you can almost hear Dennis Rodman booking his flight to D.C. Seth Rogen is set to play Walter Cronkite in the new movie about the Kennedy assassination. Hmm, if Trump can be president, I guess Seth Rogen can be the most trusted man in news. And that's the way it is. When a story breaks in Hollywood, we'll be there with the crazy glue.